name is Chris Carter, and I'm a petroleum geologist for the Pennsylvania Geological Survey. I also serve as an advisor to the board of directors for Drake Well. I was born and raised in Washington, Pennsylvania, and little did I know it at the time, but my stomping grounds were right on top of the Washington Taylorstown oil field. As it turns out, the Gantz Well, drilled in late 1884, was smack dab in the middle of the city, and it was the first oil well to produce in Washington County. Since then, the oil field grew and uh, now contains more than 1,700 wells. I got my bachelor's degree in geology and environmental science. That was a double major at Allegheny College in Meadville. And I was fortunate enough after that to attend Lehigh University in Bethlehem, PA for my master's degree. Now, my graduate research involved the evaluation of fluid flow through porous sandstones, uh, Appalachian Basin sandstones. And uh, after graduate school, I was able to land a job in the private sector as an environmental consultant. So as a consultant, I was out in the field a lot, doing a lot of testing and sampling of soils and clean and dirty water, waste material, ash, et cetera, uh, at landfills, at Superfund sites. All the while, I was missing that uh, opportunity to evaluate porosity and permeability of, of rocks and, and that line of study. So fortunately, in late 2001, I landed a job with the Pennsylvania Geological Survey in their Pittsburgh office, which is where I continue to work today. And with that, I was able to get back to looking at rocks up close and personal in outcrop, in thin section with microscopes, et cetera, and also be able to add outreach and my interest in oil history to the mix. And another benefit of working for the survey was I was able to bring my kids to work with me uh, once a day every year to see what mom does as a geologist, whether it's office work or the lab work on the microscope. And my daughter, Josie, certainly enjoyed that over the, over the years. As I moved up through the ranks of the survey to supervisor status, I became responsible for externally funded projects. So I incorporated, wherever possible, summer internships for college students to be able to work with us, learn what a geoscientist does in the real world as an adult. Uh, it's not all field work. There's some office work, there's some data entry, but give them a realistic opportunity to what their future may hold. And another way that I've chosen to give back is to establish a scholarship uh, for the field conference of Pennsylvania geologists. So every year a college student attends that field conference at no charge uh, in honor of my very best, best friend, Veronica Reynolds, who passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2012. I've had a lot of opportunities to travel with the survey over the years, from mountains to valleys and everywhere in between. Um, here's a photo at the lowest part of, the, of Death Valley with a dear friend, Michelle, who I originally met when she was an intern for us at the Pittsburgh office, and she has since gone on to bigger and better things as a successful consultant for the oil and gas industry in her own right now. I also get to meet with representatives from other states and other countries and speak with them on various geologic topics. In this photo, we uh, were meeting with some gentlemen from the Poland National Geologic Survey. They were visiting the states to get some insight on how to assess their shale resources over there, given what we were learning about the Marcellus over here. Now, all the while I continue uh, and have really tried hard to keep in touch with my alumni friends. Here's a, a picture of the Allegheny Geo alumni group from a decade or so ago. And I have to say that the staff of the Pennsylvania Geological Survey, their significant others, college interns over the years, I consider all of them extended family. My Allegheny contacts also have been able to keep me engaged with students and research. I, I serve as a visiting instructor for the geology department 
at Allegheny and get to attend field trips with them sometimes. So now as a manager for the geologic survey, I do a lot of big things. I get to do a lot of stuff and I get to present. But it's important to note that I don't do that alone. I don't certainly do that myself. And there's always a team behind me. That larger team helps us succeed. I keep in touch with my mentors. Here, a photo of John Harper and Bob Schwartz. And these guys have helped me at different stages of my career with navigating the ups and downs of things. And with continued strong ties across state lines, here with my friend Jessica Moore, who's the state geologist of West Virginia, and, and some of our other colleagues, I know that there's nothing that we as geologists can't do if we put our minds to it. I feel as though I'm at the top of my career at this point in time. And I know at the same time that I wouldn't be able to be here without my friends and my colleagues. So with that, Happy International Day of Women and Girls in Science, and thank you.